So I've had a lot of people ask me to draw a bear. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw a bear. And you're going to be able to see every mistake I make along the way. This is a bear from my imagination. No reference. All my mind. From my mind to yours. I almost poke myself in the eye. Let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to try to draw, draw a cartoon bear without any reference. Alright, first of all, I'll draw my little, I'll draw an oval because they have, they have kind of small skulls. They have big heads, but I don't know, for bears I usually draw a small oval. Okay, so... So I'll draw his head this way. Nose. His eyes will be here. His eyes would be about this area. But I want to make sure I get the plane of that that face here, the nose coming off, the center line, okay, so what do I want him doing? Kind of like when they're holding, they're holding something. I'll make them sitting. sitting with his hand on his leg. I feel like his body's a little short. This I kind of use a little bit of like human anatomy. I take like the, the chest and how that always goes over to the shoulder. So it's just kind of like cheating. Uh, what if he's like holding up like a frog or something? they kind of have claws and they have like their little their little pads but so it's interesting how you tackle their hands because I feel like their normal hands would be like they have that and then they have like their their claws coming off like that
Something like that. We'll make him hold in like a... Or like a mouse or something. Make something like looking up at him. So we'll give him like Okay. So we'll give him like high eyebrows. Whenever I think of bears' noses, I kind of think they sort of look like um, like mushrooms. I know that sounds weird, but like a sliced mushroom is kind of what a bear's nose looks like. A grizzly bear, at least. Give him like a... It's kind of big. His nose and everything is a little bit too big for his face. So I'm just going to take that. I'm just going to scale it down. I'm going to clean it up so you can see it a little bit better. Oops. I do like to clean up my sketches because sometimes they can get a little too messy and then you just get lost. So I'll just kind of clean up my sketch a little bit. They have their little lip, but this is very messy. Let me clean this up some. So I can see what's going on here. Just trying to get those proportions right. And you want to get this, you got to get that big old draggy lip that they have.
All right. Keeping in mind that I might be anatomically butchering this poor bear, but that's the fun part when it's just like a like a free sketch for fun. I mean, oops, you just kind of make it look right to the best of your ability. And normally I would use some some reference, but not all the time. I mean, you gotta have some fun. And I've drawn a lot of bears, so I sort of, you know, I have the the basics of of what they look like enough to enough to fake it. You know, sometimes it's all about faking it till you make it. I guess you never really. I mean, I guess I don't know what is making it as an artist. Because I mean, you can. It's easy to eventually get paid for a piece of art, but. And then that's it. All right, hold on. Connection. All right, sorry about that. I had to deal with a internet crisis in the apartment. Okay. All right, so that's not bad. Maybe I want him like. Change his weight a little bit. Make his weight so like he's... Those too big? No, I think they're fine. Mm, not crazy. Not crazy about his toe claws. So we'll deal with them later. All right, let's get to some fun stuff. Okay. So his eyes. All right, so uh, that doesn't look too bad. Or his eye, his eye sockets. Oh, it's a little, his head is a little too lumpy. It's a little too... That's a little bit better. I guess that looks okay. I do struggle on like... I 
and like face shapes and things like that. Alright, this isn't too bad. This is coming together. I'm just not sold on his on his head. Maybe I'm making Let's see. It's also really hot in here because I don't have my I don't have my fan on or anything like that because then the audio audio won't be great. Okay, let me go with a, just a round head. start with just a round head because sometimes when I try to get I try to do the shapes and things and it can look lumpy so I just start out start out with like a, a round base or whatever I'm trying to figure out like I think that looks a lot better Try to equal out those eye, the eye sockets, so they're sort of on the same, same plane like that. And then this should be kind of like it's there. So that's kind of what I use to find these answers, like to find where this goes. I just have an imaginary line like that. Like this is imaginary line. Whoops. This is imaginary line like that. Up here should be an imaginary line here. Okay, that looks all right. I'll make this a little hairier, so I'll just do some lines. Same thing with here, just so it's not like a like a human cheek. You can add some hair in there. some hair up top too just to give him a little personality all right so what do we have here so we have his little chubby body this kind of chest area can be kind of like here well, I guess it should Not that they really have like gorilla type chests or anything, but just to help with the anatomy. His belly is like his belly button would be down there. All right, let me clean up some of these lines so I don't get too lost. And this is still quite big. I'm not sure if we should just, I guess we can just leave it. Also, I feel like his nose. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that looks, that looks better. little tiny adjustments that I think really make a big difference. 
I'm not crazy about this arm, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I'm not crazy about the arm on the leg bit. And his, his leg looks funny also, to be honest. Alright, so this is the ground. I'm trying to ground him in the space. So maybe I'll just do something like this. do his claws coming off and then also maybe here I can just do this flatter maybe that's why it's not looking right to me or I could do I could do his foot like this almost like it's just foreshortened but I think it might need to be a little bit bigger I think they have No, that looks weird. I know they have really small legs. Um Sometimes you just gotta get rid of it. And people think that drawing is easy. Let's see. I'm just going to practice where some legs could be. Like it maybe is Indian style. No. Maybe I just need to do some shapes. Maybe his leg needs to be... Maybe his foot needs to be forward. Hmm. Sometimes I just gotta get really loose with it.
Sometimes I gotta get really loose with it and just kinda figure out a way to make it work. Oh, his little bear tail. Something like that. Let me clean up this arm so I can really figure it out. I'll give him some like his finger slash claws look, so let me redo that. I think that looks a lot better. Let me clean it up so you can see it. So I can hardly see it. Almost like he's startled or something. Or almost like he's sort of a little bit grossed out about holding his little friend, but something like that. I just don't want to make his right arm, his right hand dead. I want to give it a little life. All right, so since we're doing that, we might as well do these little claws as well. Not gonna go too super detailed on it for now. All right, now we can go back here since we have all that we, we have the body fleshed out. So now I can go back, back up to the fun, the fun bits. Um, what if he has like this eyebrow up? And this one is like. One of those type of things. What do you think of that? I drew this line just so I can see where the eyes are. I want him to look somewhat friendly. Maybe a little skeptical. And this actually, I might have to bring his eye further. But let's see. So if he's looking here, 
I'll do this on another layer. So he's looking here. This eye needs to be a little more slanted in the same direction. a bit weird. Okay, so let me fix his eyes. I feel like I should stick to that expression since I said I would do it and not cave and like change the expression because it's Difficult. Let's see, it would be like it'd be something like that. Excuse me. <coughs> it'd be something like that. But we definitely want to smooth. Nice smooth shape. Well, let's see. How can we? How can we do this? All right. You know what we'll do first. First, we'll make sure the eye is right. So I'm going to draw an eye, and then I'm going to draw a circle. So if the eye's right, then we can work on the eyelid area. And we can just see what looks right. That's not too bad, it's a little straight. So let's see if we angle it. Let's see if we angle it a little more. Oops. So we really just want to push it to its extreme. And actually we want, since this eye is touching the bottom line, we want that to touch. We want that to touch the bottom line. But we do want it, we do want it, we don't want it to, to blend in. You want to be able to clearly see, oh, that's right, the eyes are on a different layer. Let me erase these lines so I can merge everything. Hmm. All right, I think I might know what the problem is. It could just be, 
could be the angle Let's see what happens when I play around, when I change the angle. When I get frustrated sometimes, I just erase everything. And sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't but I guess that's the beauty of of drawing is you just have to figure out a way to really work through these little tiny problems that can prevent them can them that can present themselves It's not bad, it's just that you can't really see the eye. You know? And I'm not sure how I can... crazy about it. Alright, so I'm just going to draw I'm going to draw another regular eye. Okay, so that's how I would do a regular eye. So maybe I just need to do something like that. And this is why I say that sometimes I can just be drawing for it. Oh, I think that was the problem. I think the eye was too high up. I think I was drawing the eye too high up. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think that looks a lot better.
Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. I think that looks a lot better. Stretch this out a little more. I'm happy with that. It's a little better. So right now I'm just trying out different um, different kind of forehead shapes and things like that. Oh, okay, that looks that looks a lot better. So I think I just needed a little space for the forehead because I, I like the way that oops I like the way that that feels. I think that's a lot nicer. It's a lot nicer. Okay. Okay, that took a long that took forever. And now I'm gonna see what it looks like if this is a little smaller again because certain things always bug me and I have to test them out to make sure I don't like it a better way. No, I think I like it bigger. Okay. All right, I feel better. Mm. They always have that separation on their um, on their muzzle. I feel like I never be hear people use that word anymore. Muzzle. I kind of like it. Oh, maybe because people think of like the things you put on a dog when, like, if they bite or something. I don't know. I just always think of it as like. That's what that area is called. I haven't really met any dogs that that are bitey. Then again, I guess I haven't been outside in a few months. Okay, whew. I was worried we weren't going to get there. I get nervous. I don't want to like let everybody down. So you guys can see how terrible of an artist I am. I got to keep that secret. <laughs> Let's 
It's looking pretty good. Should we color them? Clean him up a little bit. Oops. I feel like if he was actually holding him, he would be up here, and this would be smaller. Yeah, that feels that feels better. We'll just give his eye, his arm a little more shape because he is a bear, I know they have like kind of small hands and palms, but they have pretty muscular this looks a little too that's better I like that Let me clean this up a little bit All right. All right, that looks pretty good. Maybe we should just color this guy in. I will do the line work, but actually hmm maybe I'm doing the claws too big. Sorry, that was me scratching my chin. I gotta figure out a way to easily do bare feet. Uh, maybe these are too big, actually. It could be a problem. Yeah, I think I was just doing them too big. So I don't think they have very big feet. But I do feel like it would be flatter. It'd be something like that. If he's flat on the ground. Maybe make some plants here and stuff, but if I want to do plants and stuff, I'll just I'll just do those in like shapes. All right, he's looking he's looking good. Let me just clean him up a little bit more. And by by clean him up, I just mean sort of get rid of the the lines that definitely don't need to be there. Sort of just separate him from the a little bit from the sketch. Like we like the sketch look, but. Not everything has to be like a double line like this. Oh, 
I'll give him a little curly belly button, because why not? I like curly belly buttons. Oh, this is getting weird. That's what happens when you start drawing forever and vlogging it. People start hearing all the weird stuff that comes out of your brain when no one's supposed to be listening. We'll do a little curly cue for the knees just because it's cute. There's actually a lot of things that aren't anatomical but I just do them because they're cute. No, I don't want to look these to look too human, so I'm gonna gonna put a little hair little hair tips in certain areas. Just to kind of give that illusion that the whole thing is hairy. Give them a little fluff tail. Probably way too big for a real bear. I think they just have like little. I think he would just have like a little. Something like that. That looks even more like a fluff tail. That's okay. That'll be his name. We can call him Fluff Tail. And if I see anyone write Fluff Tail in the comments, I'm going to be really excited that someone is actually watching this deep into this video. I'll be very happy. Alright, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty cleaned up. Cleaned up enough. Make them happy, like maybe they know each other. They kind of make it like they're old buddies or something. I don't want them to be eating the mouth. Mouse. Mouth. <laughs> drawing a, That's what happens when you're drawing a mouth and thinking about a mouse.
his little butt. His little mouse butt. With his little tail. Do we want his eyes closed, or do we want them open? I like closed because then it looks like there. It looks like he's laughing. I have to make sure that I accentuate his cheeks so that you can tell that he's having a good time, you know? Otherwise, it just looks like he's ready to meet his demise. And that's not what we're going for. So those are like the little things that are very important. You have to make sure that the emotions are portrayed the right way or else something innocent like these two rascals playing will look a lot more a lot less fun so I guess it depends on what you're what you're going for but I'm going for cute here I'm not going for anything else but cute okay Clean up his little bear hand a little bit. I think his fingers have to be that big. Stick with what I had. Sometimes you gotta learn to just stick with what you had. Unless you're just not happy with it, in which case you just erase everything. Okay, so his hand is gonna be here. Make his other claws like this. There we go, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. Oh yeah, his claws are fairly uniform. This one is really thick though. It doesn't need to be that thick. just have to move the mouse to where his fingers join. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think that's pretty good for a sketch. Alright, I had to break this up a little bit because the file sizes were way too big. So this is the end of part one. Please hop over to part two and we can uh, keep going and figure this bear out. 
I apologize for giving you a thumbs up.